Hey guys, I'm Okita. Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys new here, then welcome to my channel. And guys, I hope you are doing well today. So guys, today I have two newly launched sunscreen with me and tan -tan -na, these are the two products. So this is the Plum Sika and Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Light Sunscreen and this is the Plum Squalene and Vitamin E Dewy Brightening Sunscreen and guys I have been using these two products more than a week now so today I'm going to share everything about these two products like uh, what is the difference uh, what should you buy and also also is it all the hype or not I mean everyone is talking about this this cream so yeah, let's start the video, but if you are watching me for the first time, then make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that all notification bell so that you can get notified all the time whenever I upload a new video. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So guys, Plum has launched two new sunscreen in the market and both the sunscreen have SPF 50 PA triple plus with new generation filters both are 100% vegan product and it comes in a tube packaging and these are parabens free pathlets free no animal tested beta certified product the plum squalene and vitamin e dewy brightening sunscreen retails for 499 and you're gonna get 50 grams of product it is loaded with new generation sun filters and enriched with goodness of nourishing squalene and vitamin e that protects and nourishes your skin as well now this plum sika and hyaluronic acid aqua light sunscreen retails for 399 and you're gonna get 50 grams of product as well with the latest uv filters sika and hyaluronic acid this sunscreen offers effective uva and uvb protection and also soothes your skin now it's application time guys and i'm applying the vitamin e sunscreen on the left side of my face following by the dotted pattern now many of you guys prefer to apply sunscreen following by the two fingers rule but i'm comfortable with my dotted pattern and yeah then after that you have to blend it out nicely and it absorbed completely and guys look at the glow i mean they say is that this is dewy brightening sunscreen actually it gives a very natural subtle glow on the skin for the right side of my face of course i'm applying the sika and hyaluronic acid sunscreen followed by my dotted motion and here is a small sunscreen tips for you guys like your face you have to apply your sunscreen on your eyelid as well most of you guys skip that part but you have to have to apply your sunscreen on your eyelid and guys here i feel for the sika and hyaluronic acid sunscreen you have to you know blend the product for a little extra time to absorb it into the skin and that is the finish right after the application and guys actually the squalene and vitamin e sunscreen gives that dewy brightness whereas the sika and hyaluronic acid one soothes the skin and you can literally feel that so guys these are very hydrated sunscreen it doesn't gives you that kind of matte finish um, it you know absorbed completely into the skin and gives that invisible uh, protection from harmful uv rays and uh, sun and guys it has spf 50 and pa triple plus which is great for sun protection and both the products uh, are for all skin types so anyone can pick any of them and guys these are the similarity of these two products now let's see what makes them different from each other so guys first of all this vitamin e one is little expensive as compared to the sika one if we talk about the ingredient well they have some common ingredients but uh, most of the ingredients are different also the key ingredients i mean it has sika and hyaluronic acid on it and it has squalene and vitamin e on it so key ingredients are different now let's talk about the absorbance well guys 
I think uh, this uh, vitamin E one absorbed 100% whereas as compared to this one it absorbed 95 to 96% and also uh, uh, you can blend this one very easily whereas for this one you have to blend it for a little extra time to absorb the product and in case of the uh, vitamin E one it uh, absorbed very fast and it absorbed completely it just like vanished into the skin and feels like uh, I haven't applied anything on my skin whereas in case of the Sika one uh, even after a blending even after you know that uh, um, 5 to 10 minutes uh, waiting time I can literally feel that there is something on my uh, skin so as compared to uh, this uh, vitamin E one I feel this uh, Sika and hyaluronic acid one is little sticky as compared to this one okay and none of them leaves any white cast okay and guys as I told you that uh, squalene and vitamin E one uh, you know absorbed very fast but uh, in case of the Sika one, if you have little bit of product on your face and you forgot to uh, blend it properly, it may, you know, uh, create that kind of whitish effect. So when you uh, use this one, you have to blend it very well, okay? Now, if you ask me uh, what is my favorite out of these two sunscreens, well guys, I'll go for the Squalen and the Vitamin E one. I know everyone is talking about the Sika and Hyaluronic Acid uh, sunscreen and also the brand showcasing this product everywhere but I personally like this one. I know this is little expensive but uh, it works well than this one and um, guys I have combination skin my t-zone is um, oily whereas my cheeks are dry but this one works well for me so this is my favorite it is also good guys i mean if you haven't used this product yet you will like this one but as i have both of them and i have used them and i feel this one is better than this one so yeah this is it this is my personal opinion about these two products and uh, I hope uh, this video was helpful to you. If you have any question, you can ask me on the comment section. And don't forget to follow me on Insta. I'll see you in my next video soon. Till then, tata. Bye.